hi welcome to another video tutorial on electronic configuration in this example we will be looking at uranium with a symbol of U capital U okay now if you try to look at our periodic table and we'll try to look at uranium uranium is found here all right so if you try to remember this S block the P block the D block and the F block so we are expecting that we have electrons on the F level or F subshells for this atom. Now if we try to look at the atomic number of uranium it is 92 and that tells us that we are expecting to distribute for the electronic configuration for uranium of 92 electrons. All right? So that's a lot so we'll go directly into distributing our 92 electrons for the electronic configuration of your uranium. And to guide us again in doing so we have here again two very important uh, ways to remember in building up of the energy levels of our orbitals. Now remember the lowest energy will be the S orbital followed by the P, the D, and the lastly would be the F orbital. So if we try to do the orbital diagram which is in this picture here, we will see that uh, every box or every uh, box here orbital is actually accommodating two electrons only so for the s it's only two electrons maximum for the p that's six for the d orbitals that's a total of 10 for the f that's a total of 14 electrons as you can see there there's an increasing trend so we always start with the lowest energy orbital so you, we fill up first the lowest energy before we go to the next all right so let's do the distribution of the 92 electrons for your uranium Alright, so this is an enlarged version of the orbital diagrams in increasing potential energy of your orbitals. Now remember, the energies of the D and the F levels vary with their occupancy, and we will see that later on when we do the filling up. So we start always with the lowest energy level, and that is of course your 1s. Okay, remember we are using the half-headed arrow representing a single electron. So one, two, you go to the next, three, four. Then for the p orbitals, it's three orbitals. We have to distribute first on the three before we do the pairing. And that is again following the Hans rule in doing your electronic configuration. So we now have used two, four, six, eight, ten out of the ninety two total electrons of your uranium. So we'll do the rest. And similar to your p orbital, for the d orbitals, we now have five vacant orbitals. But remember, we have to fill in each vacant orbital first before we do the pairing. Alright, so I'll just fill in the next orbitals. And we are now on the f orbital. So similarly for your p and your d, we now have to fill up all the vacant orbitals first before pairing. And for the f orbitals, we have a maximum of 14 electrons that can be accommodated because we have here seven vacant orbitals so put one for each vacant orbital first all right then after that we do the pairing all right so we're almost there and now have used almost all of the electrons 92 electrons of your uranium so let me just finish the rest of the filling up all right so we now filled up until to this level now we have a little problem in this part because if you try to r read from your books usually of our principle has is not applicable to some elements in our periodic table and one of those elements is your uranium so that's why I've only filled up until 4f here and I have now used up a total of 86 that's all of the S, the P, and the D, and 1F here. I have used up all of the 86 electrons of your uranium. Now, we're only left with 6 more. Now, the problem lies here because the 7S, 6D, and the 5F orbitals, atomic orbitals, are the energies of this is not very, f very far. N um, not really this far based on the illustration that you are seeing right now. So that's why if you try to look at the electronic configuration of your uranium in most books, 
it will have a very interesting answer okay so let's see that and as you can see here uranium element number 92 has the core configuration cl open close bracket radon 5f36017 s2 again this notation is written in increasing number of shells so that's five six seven but the way we are writing it in our answer is in terms of the off ball principle increasing energy orbitals now if you try to see this is quite interesting because you have 5f3 6d1 7s2 and if you try to go back here I've just filled it according to that uh, answer is the differences in energy orbitals is not very pronounced so according to some research according to the book that I've read the electronic configuration here is uh, because of the lesser electron electron repulsion so that's why the 7s2 is filled first then before f is actually finished up we have one single electron for the d orbital all right so to make it a little clearer using our guide earlier we were trying to look at the 4d then we have 4f, 5d, 6p, and 7s. Now, if you can try to see here, 7s is in this part, but we have filled it, filled it up first. Then we have 5f, then 6d. Right? Now, if you try to look back, it's a little confusing in this illustration. But if you go back to the guide, it will tell you that 7s2 is filled up first, then 5f before 6d. Right? Now, why we have one electron here? Because for the f orbitals and also for the d orbitals as well, it's usually the half-filled orbitals are considered to be more stable than lesser filled. All right. So instead of having it here for the last entering electron, it should be on the next orbital, which is on the 6d. So to our final answer is, and so we have written our final answer here. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, 4d10, 5p6, 6s2, 4f14, 5d10, 6p6. Now, until here, 6p6 from 1s2, that corresponds to the electronic configuration of your radon. That's why in the Wikipedia page, we see the core configuration as radon, then 7s2, 5f3, or 61, or in the Wikipedia page, that's radon 5f3 6d17s2 all right so again if we go back here oh sorry let me just erase this one because we have filled up the 86 and we only have six more to fill up so that's 7s first so that's one two then we have the 5f one two three now half filled will be more stable compared to the lesser field so that's we only have a three approximately then the last inter electron will go to the d orbital so that's why you have one here all right so that basically is our electron configuration and if you go back to the wikipedia page we have the same answer all right so that's all for this video thank you for listening and continue learning